I wanted to make a quick little video to explain how I level my transducer for my Lowrance uh, HDS Live unit. Um, it's a little different than what I see most of the people doing with levels and coins and stuff like that. Uh, it's a little more uh, technical, I think, and uh, probably a little bit easier to, to do. Uh, so I, <clears throat> I use my point one antenna uh, that's connected to my Lowrance on the NEMA system. Um, I go into the settings of that and uh, set the boat about five miles an hour. Uh, I got my tournament partner with me, all, all our gears loaded up. So like our last tournament, uh, at some point during that tournament, uh, about five miles an hour, I go into the settings and I take a picture of the data that the point one is giving the Lowrance. Uh, by doing this, it, you know, I'm driving at five miles an hour which would be the speed that I would be at uh, to look for structure. I'm uh, loaded down like I would normally be. So the boat should be just how I would want it if I'm looking for structure. And I go into the, Laurent, the, the point one data that the Laurent, that is on the Lowrance, and it tells me the pitch of the boat and the side to side of the boat. So it gives me everything without using coins or levels or any of that. I just take a picture of it with my phone. I come home, uh, boat's on the trailer in the driveway. I use a jack or the, the, uh, the trailer jack, whatever. I jack it up. I, I put that same data. I turn the data, turn the Lowrance on, go to that same page that has the data. And I level the boat out to where the data matches the picture that I took the last time I was on the water. And from there, once, once that's the same, I will put the level on the, transdu on the transducer and set the height and get it level. And so in theory, next time I'm on the water, it should be 100% level when I'm doing five miles an hour. So let, let me just walk you through how easy it is because it's, it's super simple. All right, let's do it. All right, so in the settings, I'm just going to go to Hit the little settings button here. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, network, and then I'm gonna go to device list, and then I'm gonna go to my point one, and then I'm gonna go to data. And right there, it shows me all my data. Uh, so if this boat moves up, down, left, right, whatever, that's gonna change. Um, so I'm gonna have this going while I'm leveling out the boat and can keep comparing that to my picture that I took from the last time I was on the water. Uh, once I get this all the same, I'll uh, get back with you guys and show you how I level the transducer. So the two numbers we're looking for is the altitude pitch and altitude roll. So when I took my picture on the lake, it was 8.9 and minus 2.0. So that's where I've got everything jacked up right now. boat is jacked all the way up to give me the pitch and then on this back corner I've got it jacked up to give me the roll that I need so now I'm going to level the transducer which it's out of whack you can see plus it's too low so I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, I'll get back with you guys. Right, so this is the final product. You see how much it's jacked up in the front. That's where my point one resides. And then we got this corner jacked up. And that gives us our 8.9 and uh, 2.0. And then if we go back and look at the transducer, we're uh, good and level. That way, we're good and level this way. And we're about an eighth of an inch or so below the, uh, below the hole there. So we should be all good at this point. Should be pretty accurate. We'll see what happens. Thanks you guys for watching. We'll see y'all later.